And inside the arena, there is Colin Warren Henninger jumping aboard and joining us. Uh, before we get to sort of some of the X factors in the game, you've been there. Give me sort of a flavor in one word for what it's like right there and the and, and sort of the emotion and the feel because different games have different feels. What is it like right there now? Uh, if you want me to use one word, I'm going to say intense. Uh, people are, are on the edges of their seat for pretty much the entire game, uh, and I expect the same here at Game 5 at Chase Center. Look, these are two teams uh, who compete at the highest level, very physical, especially on Boston's side. Uh, there's length, there's strength, there's mobility. And then, as you mentioned, Steph Curry is shouldering this absolutely monstrous burden to be the main offensive option, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to say, and he's come through so far in this series. So with all that weight on his shoulders, can he continue to do it, and will Boston's fourth quarter issues that we've seen in previous series, and we definitely saw in game four, continue to haunt them? Yeah, fourth quarter's kind of been the X factor for the series. Uh, just look at game one, what happened in the fourth quarter, and the most recent game, what happened in the fourth quarter. But if you look at the teams and look at individual players, I know who's good. You're going to tell me who the X factor is. Let's start with Golden State. What's the X factor for Golden State tonight? Well, I hate to say it because you, you've never really called him an X factor in the history of his career, but it's Klay Thompson. I mean, the guy has been up and down throughout the playoffs, and if he can come out and have a vintage Klay Thompson performance, which he's done already a couple times in this playoffs, game six against Memphis, he went off for eight threes, game five against Dallas, the elimination game, eight three-pointers. Tonight is not an elimination game, but you better believe that these Warriors who have been to the finals so many times over the last you know eight years understand how important that this game is they do not want to go down 3-2 heading back to Boston so if Klay Thompson can come out have another big shooting night an efficient shooting night which he has rarely done in these playoffs that's going to make the difference for the Golden State Warriors because as we've all talked about Stephen Curry just needs somebody to help him a little bit and I think Klay Thompson can be that person for Golden State tonight what about for Boston Look, Jason Tatum, he was dreadful in the fourth quarter. I, he sort of did a Claude Rains invisible man. He's first team all NBA, and you saw his team just absolutely run out of gas with five minutes to go. Who's the X factor for the Celtics? Yeah, obviously they're going to need Jason Tatum to be better. I, I, he's not an X factor. He's their best player. Uh, to me, it's Rob Williams, and that really comes down to his health. We've seen when he's out on the court, uh, just a monstrous presence for the Celtics. He's out there blocking shots, sending shots into the stands. The reason that Golden State has had so many problems finishing around the rim and getting easy buckets is because Robert Williams has been in the paint. He can also drop on Steph Curry pick and rolls a little bit farther than their other bigs because he has so much length, and he can make up that space and still contest a shot so to me if he's not healthy he asked out at the end of game four he says he's feeling better I saw him at practice yesterday he was moving around doing simple basic drills he looked all right if he's healthy and able to play his normal amount of minutes that's going to make a huge difference for Boston as they try to win this pivotal game five all right ultimately Celtics getting either three and a half or four somewhere in that neighborhood your total 212. I've seen it drop to 210 in spots, so we're somewhere in that 210, 212 uh, area. What do you want to do with this one, Colin? Well, you know, I picked the Warriors to win the series, and if that's the case, I think they have to win this game. So I'm going to pick the Warriors to win, and, uh, you know, that spread is so close uh, to what I think the final total is going to be. Uh, but I'm going to say just because of Boston's late-game troubles, uh, their crunch time problems that they've had, I'm going to say the Warriors win by a little bit more than that spread, so I think they cover. And then in terms uh, of the over-under, uh, that's a good total to me. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I, I think it, it makes sense that that total has dropped. Uh, I'm going to say that because the Warriors are at home, uh, because I expect a big game from Klay Thompson and their role players might shoot a little better, I think that total might be a little bit higher uh, right around that range, but I'm probably going to go over on the total. There he is inside the arena. Colin Ward-Henninger, thank you very much. Appreciate the information, bud. All right, here we go. Game five NBA Finals, and it is a best of three. All right, when it's 2-2, two -two, it's best of three, and it's going to be Golden State, then Boston, and if we need a game seven, that'll be back in the Bay, and uh, you know, 60% of the time works every time. In this case, it's 73% of the time works every time. You win game five, you win the series about 75% of the time, specifically 73% of the time. I know that's a lot of math. Just know this, 
The Warriors are very good at home. The Celtics are very good off a loss. Something's got to give. Now break it down. Let's bring in our guy. There he is, Bill Ryder in the studio. That's what I'm talking about. Um, 2-2 says even, but not all 2-2s are created equally. Who should feel better right now about this series being 2-2? The Golden State Warriors, absolutely unequivocally. The Celtics played exceptional basketball early in the series, and the Warriors find a way to keep evening things up. And it really felt like the Celtics, they were not felt like, they were the better team. Boston was the better team for the first three and a half quarters of a game in Boston a few days ago, ago that could have put this series to bed. And we know the rest, last five minutes, 17-3 run for the Warriors. Steph Curry takes over. They shouldn't be the Warriors where they are. They are better at closing games. They're certainly better at closing final series because they've done it before. I know it's 2-2. Feels like a huge advantage for Golden State and for them, a ton of relief that they're in the position they are. All right, some people think that Klay Thompson is the key. Some people think Jason Tatum is the key. Some people think that it's going to be uh, Steph Curry. How great he is. Draymond Green, maybe a third scorer from Boston. If I let you see <laughs> one stat line for one player tonight, you know, like a little I get crystal one. ball. You can look at one right. person's stat line for tonight. Whose would you pick to help you accurately predict this game and why? That is a great question. I'm going to go the critical, if I get this little psychic crystal ball, I want to see Jason Tatum's entire line. I know we can facilitate. I know the assists. Can Jason Tatum, who is a superstar player, you said it, this guy was first team all NBA. I put him there. This guy is capable of a 40-point a night game. Can he actually be offensively excellent? Can he be a guy that shows up consistently throughout this game? Can he be a guy that understands that he has to carry a huge burden of the weight of the pressure, the expectations, and that means the scoring. He hasn't done in this series. You show me that Tatum's got 32 or 35 points and that box score EK gives me some insight into a dynamic player who takes a lot of shots, who's fairly efficient, who looks like a star, and I'm going to lean a lot more heavily toward Boston than I am right now. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, we were playing match game. We would have matched. And I could see why you make an argument for other people, but that would be the stat line I'd want to see right now. Um, can Golden State win both tonight and this series if they don't get better play from either Clay Thompson or Draymond Green? They can because I've seen them do it. Yes, the answer is that Stephen Curry, it turns out, is capable of doing what only a couple guys in the face of the earth are doing. And I mean a couple. Giannis Antetokounmpo is on the list. LeBron James is on the list. That's the list. It isn't Kevin Durant. It isn't Nikola Jokic. It isn't anyone else who can do what Steph has done other than a couple guys who have ba who has basically been good enough, especially in the fourth quarter, to carry his team against an exceptional Celtics defense. The offense stumbled late in the game. I get it. All the pressure. An exceptional Celtics defense because Steph single-handedly did it. So, so would it be helpful if Clay Thompson could remember how to shoot? Yes. Would it be helpful if, if Draymond Green stopped playing like a bum after basically calling everybody else on the Celtics a bum? It would certainly help in a big way. If Jordan Poole remembered how to shoot, all of that. But Steph Curry does not mean it's easy, but Steph Curry is one of three guys in the face of the planet who can do this without that help. He'd prefer it, but he can do it. All right. Um, you see the series price right there. Warriors <laughs> minus 140, Celtics plus 120. Yeah. That's basically about 55-45. It's going for it. Yeah, but it's 55-45, yeah. Golden State favored. I actually thought it would be a little higher than that, considering two of the too. three, they're at home. Um, what do you want to do with that series price? So I'm already, I've already got a ticket on the Warriors, and if I could redo it right now, I would make the exact same decision I made three or four weeks ago. I, I, I'm betting on the Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. The Celtics, you might be able to make the case, if you actually break down the tape and look at the box scores and look at the stats, that technically speaking, the Celtics on paper, I think they are the better team, and they have been for long stretches. But championships aren't won on paper. We understand that it has to be done in the arena when the pressure is at the most severe in the fourth quarter. And it's the Warriors, and really it's Steph Curry. But it's the Warriors because of Steph who have been able to ride out those moments and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Well, you talked about the fact that they should feel so good, Golden State, that they're in this position. Your money, the smart money, it's on Golden State because we've seen already early in the series who each of these teams are when the pressure bears down. That's only going to get more intense tonight and in the next game or two after this. All right, well, speaking of tonight, Celtics getting three and a half or four, depending upon where you're looking. The total, I believe, is now down to 210, 212, depending upon where you're shopping. So how do you want to play this one? Uh, you know I'm not an over player. Either. Over for the public, I sort of kind of lean maybe a little bit to the over in this one, but you think what? I would, if I were betting the total, I would bet the over. I don't like betting over, so I'm not betting the total at all. I'm, I'm with you. So I think, I, think the, I think it's likely the Warriors are going to win this game, and some of my thinking is, is predicated on the fact that I've got a ticket on the Warriors already, so I actually want, want a little bit of a middle here. I think it's a close game. 
and I think the value is in taking three and a half or four points. Every game this series where a team has been a four-point dog, I I've taken that team because we know that both these teams are good at responding to losses, and we know that both these teams, the Celtics in particular, they're not good. They're exceptional, exceptional at, at winning on the road. I'm going to go Celtics plus four. A little bit of a pause there. Right. I already put the bet in. I, don't, I need a pause. Right, there you go. I don't feel great about Celtics it. Celtics with the points. We'll take, he'll take the dog. Look, I, I, I kind of feel like the public play tonight is the Warriors giving, and you know that one of the things we do is we try to play against the public because the spread is not what the experts think that will happen. The spread is to sort of You're right. gauge the public. So we would like to always bet against public perception. Well done, Bill Ryder. So... Boston is the play, according to Bill. And look, following a loss this postseason, and WWW, you get a W, you get a W, you get a W. But keep in mind, Golden State, 10 and 1 in that building in the playoffs, although that one loss was in game one of this series to the Boston Celtics. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.